YouTube. Today I'm going to try to get some footage uh, with full self-driving engaged with pedestrians on uh, residential streets. See we've got a pair up here uh, actually walking in the middle of the road. I'm going to ensure that it's going slow enough and they walk to the side and FSD did a pretty good job giving them some room. Okay, you can see we've got a pedestrian with a dog up here. I'm going to keep the speed limit at 20 just so it doesn't overdo the speed. It definitely sees them. And it's veering over to the left a little bit. And it maintained 20 miles an hour the whole time. Okay, we have a pedestrian coming up from the right. Uh, you see it's yellow here. She pulled over to the side. Tesla did not move over much once she pulled over to the side. A little bit fast for me too. Uh, the speed limit is 25 set. Actually the speed limit is 35 in here, but I set it to 25. It's, it should slow down a little bit more. We'll do a few more tests. Okay, we've got a large group up here. Speed limit set to 30. I'm going to slow it down to 25 just for safety reasons. Now this group is in the middle of the road. I'm not sure if they can see me. I'm weaving a little bit. All right, the car is going to very carefully go around. All right, I'm tapping the accelerator just a little bit. Yeah, it was hesitant to go around that group. Okay, we've got a another set of pedestrians coming up here. I think when I turn the corner, the sun's going to be in the car vision a little bit too. All right, they pulled over to the side of the road and the car didn't slow down at all after they jumped onto the grass. I feel there's just not quite enough uh, bias slowing down for pedestrians in this current build. Okay, this time the pedestrians are on the other side of the road. And as you can notice, this is a two-lane road with no markings, and occasionally the Tesla fishes for center line here. All right, it, uh, it didn't really give them any sort of bias. It did slow down a bit. Okay, coming up on the left, we've got two bikers with a dog and a large group with a yellow line here. And traffic is waiting, and it didn't slow down for them on the other side at all, which is okay because there was no risk, um, just showing that the bias. GoPro stop recording. Okay, we're doing a right turn at a stop sign. There's a couple pedestrians on the other side. I'm slowing the speed down to 25 manually. And you see on the other side, it didn't give any sort of speed bias uh, at all. All right, I had to disengage there because it wasn't giving the bias at all like it needed to. Okay, we've got a couple of pedestrians up here on the left. I'm gonna leave it at 30 this time because they're on the other side of the street. It didn't make any adjustments for them that I could tell. Okay, it's fishing for the center line here. Still struggling on uh, unmarked streets. On the other side of the stop sign, you can see there's a pedestrian with two dogs kind of in the middle of the left lane. The car needs to bias to the right a little bit. And I didn't notice a bias at all. If anything, I felt like it was uh, kind of creeping in towards the middle. Okay, we've got a stop sign and on the other side of the stop sign you can see we've got a pedestrian walker um, kind of in the middle of the lane. I'm going to slow it down just a smidge. Okay, okay I'm biasing it off. Yeah, that, that's an interesting situation. How far do you go into an opposing pedestrian before you start to deviate? Because the car does, you know, sort of treat a pedestrian like a cone. It goes up and then it decides how to go around based on traffic. Okay, I've got uh, the speed manually set to 25, even though the speed limit is stated as 30. You can see the pedestrians coming up on the other side of the road, but this, this road has no marking, so the car is still looking for the center of the road. 
now it's even veering over towards the pedestrian because it's just trying to find the lane uh, it did not really acknowledge the pedestrian on the other side of the road at all which is legally okay but when the there isn't a center line and the car isn't kind of staying over to the right as it is um, it, it could kind of scare a pedestrian a little bit if they were to look back and, and see you kind of coming towards them okay we've got a biker coming up in the opposite lane Okay, we've got some pedestrians uh, on the sidewalk of this bridge here. And speed set to 30, and it, it recognized them uh, as not being any sort of interference. It's just maintaining its lane. Okay, we've got some pedestrians on the other side of the street and a jogger. It's maintaining 30, and it didn't really slow down at all. I disengaged on that one for both of them. Not sure why it's not giving enough bias when it definitely sees them. Okay, we've got a biker on the other side of this intersection. And it's a four-way stop. The car is proceeding. It sees the cyclist. I thought it did a good job. Okay, in this scenario, passenger pedestrians were waiting and the car proceeded okay when you're going to do a right turn here with some pedestrians that just crossed and uh, are on the left side of the road with an oncoming car decision Did a pretty good job. It was a little unsure, but it proceeded nicely. Okay, we got a large group of pedestrians up ahead on the right side. The speed's currently set for 25. It really needs to kind of bias and go way around them. Okay, it did good on that one. But it recorrected. Slow down. Don't go too fast. All right, too close. Yeah. I I'm afraid of scaring the pedestrians too much. Okay, we've got a pedestrian up on the right-hand side. I've manually set the speed to 25. Yeah, I had to uh, intervene because it wasn't giving that pedestrian any sort of indication that I was going to go around her uh, at that time.